Go on, Dominic. <laughs> and we can see our modern day heroes, Allison Becker, Diogo Jota, some of the ladies, and Sobo Slai Dominic. Sobo Slai Dominic. Tra la 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 la. Sobo Slai Dominic. Tra la 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 la. Sobo Slai Dominic. Tra la 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 la. It isn't Sobo Slai, it's Sobo Slai. E -da -da -da. AD 1903. As Akilin Sas And That was the golden era of Liverpool. Something, by the way, that it shares with Hungary, and especially Budapest, is that the turn of the 20th century was its golden age. Lovely stuff down here on Eberle Street. Liverpool has also always been a city of artists. The most famous of all, of course, being the Beatles. But many great artists have graced this pavement. And look at that right there. It's the artists club. Oh yes, they will be all over the city. Reminders of the glory of Liverpool. The greatest artists of all. Those that paint their work out on the pitch. I have been a Liverpool supporter. Me entire bloody life, mate. Me entire bloody life, mate. No, 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 no. The Scouse accent, it's more like, you're right, la. You're right, la. All right, all right. You're right, la. A little bit of, little bit of, little bit of. <laughs> we can see right here, this pub is called The Railway. Established in 1850, wow. Ancient, not really ancient, but quite old. And it was 20 years earlier that the railway connected Liverpool to Manchester. Two industrial powerhouses who used to be connected by canal, stretching back into the 17th century, were, after the completion of the railway in 1830, finally connected by rail as well. And that's when the merchandise really started pumping leading to the aforementioned economic golden age of 1903. Paul Mall, just like the cigarettes. And across the way there, we can just about make out the Radio City 96.7. 96.7. Huh. I mean, I'm not really one to harp on symbols all that much, but 96, 97, that was the former number of Liverpudlians who tragically lost their lives in the Hillsborough disaster and 97 is the updated number now that the most recent of those very, very tragic folk had perished. The greatest modern tragedy in Liverpool being the Hillsborough Stadium disaster, 1989 FA Cup match. And we shall always remember them Okay, and here we have Shenanigans, Irish Ale House, the Yellow Submarine for the Beatles, and Shenanigans, Irish Ale House, well I know nothing about it, but what I do know is that the Irish have played an integral, integral, integral role in the development of Liverpool. I mean, if you look at a map, it's on the west coast, commerce, back and forth, Ireland, Liverpool, tons of Irish came here during the worst days of the famine. 1840s, Irish potato famine, you know a lot of Irish went to America, a lot of Irish also went to Liverpool. There we can see the banana lamb, the banana lamb. Those have become a little bit of a modern day symbol of the city, 2008, the year that Liverpool was officially back, baby. 2008, European capital of culture, hasn't looked back since. Of course, the liver bird has really been co-opted as the symbol of Liverpool Football Club, but it's really the symbol of the city. Moreover, there we can see Liverpool John Moores, one of the major universities in town, the other being University of Liverpool, UOL. UOL, why do you think they have to call it University of College London? Because the real UOL is uh, University of Liverpool. Kirkdale, Southport, Widnes. You know, we're trying to make our way without a map to Anfield. I've been to Liverpool, I think this is my seventh, maybe eighth time, but I am relying on very old data because the last time I've been here, 2020, right when COVID broke out, literally the week of, we lost to uh, Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. 
and then we were <laughs> hot on our tails out of here closures that was like really the first week that everything went bananas it was wild it was absolutely wild getting out of dodge whoa liverpool taxi that's nice look at it gleaming in the sun manhattan where i am from and you know liverpool they used to call it the new york of england my my it is good to be back liverpool is really a home away from home for me myself and my two brothers and even my mom at this point all diehard liverpool supporters and you know it's quite uh, coincidental that this is the day i have made my return for this is also the day that jurgen klopp has announced that he will no longer manage liverpool football club after this season crazy i literally got off the bus arrived here from manchester airport national express check my phone what do i see jurgen klopp is not to be at least not as a part of lfc but the hope he's awakened and the tears that have dried the memories fostered created supplied Woof. let me tell you jürgen klopp it's been a pleasure to have you on our side and it shall be a true motivating factor as the season unfolds you know a lot of people instantly reacting why did he announce it now we have so much season to go no 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 no. you see you got to understand how klopp operates and why this is the only move that ever made any sense birkenhead warrington manchester 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 has really been the true rivals of liverpool both in a football sense and in a city v city sense and that is due to the rivalry that the two industrial powerhouses developed following their connection on the rails and the canals. Canals really first and foremost, if you look at the crest of Manchester United and Man City, they both have boats. And that's because even though Manchester is inland, not a port city like Liverpool, it is a canal city. Shipping and commerce and trade. England linked and littered with waterways and canals. I'm always reminded every time I come back here, just how gorgeous this place is the brick dwellings prototypical liverpool low slant angled roofs brick dwellings and we can see just how important the football is to people here liverpool the five stars ut chilag actually now it's six because we won it in madrid we won it in madrid we won it in Madrid, but you can see there, 77, 78, 81, 84, 05, the first five European Cups. Oh, baby, tropical. 77, Joey ate the frog's legs, made the Swiss roll, and now he's munching Gladbach in Rome. 78, little Kenny Dougley's trip, I mean chip, Wembley Stadium against Club Rouge. 81, Gay Paris against Madrid. 84, back in Rome against AS Roma, zero, Five, Nulo, Ut, Steven Gerrard led the lads to victory. Three to three, penalty kicks, Istanbul, AC Milan, best game of all time. Best game of all time. And then, uh, of course, 2019 in Madrid. 2019 in Madrid. I was there, didn't have a ticket to the match, but I was in Madrid. And oh my goodness gracious, what a moment that was. Oh, of course, the Liverpool community fire station liverpool city community fire station liverpool varos kuzotoshag no kuzishag tuzotoshag kuzishag tuzotoshag yes as an adopted son of hungary it was quite fortuitous when dominic soboslai the best hungarian player in a generation just so happened to come to Liverpool, my favorite boyhood club. Oh yes, yeah, a match made in heaven. And that is why I cannot lament the departure of Klopp too much because he has set us up so well. And he's smart, Klopp is smart. What I was saying before, the fact of the matter is that Klopp's an honest guy. You could see it when he said that he was leaving because he knows that he's not gonna have enough energy. He's an honest guy. And he cannot possibly just sit there with a stone face and manage and wait till the end of the season, especially not as far as the players are concerned. He's got to let them know, otherwise they'll feel betrayed. So he takes the choice to leave, 
which means therefore he must tell the players now and if the players know he's got to tell the fans because Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp they believe in the holy trinity players manager and staff and the supporters that is the holy trinity that is what Bill Shankly taught us and that is what Jurgen Klopp has resurrected like no man possibly could have the perfect manager at the perfect time and he doesn't owe us anything folks if anything we owe him we owe him and the players they feel that way as well which is why this season Klopp has laid down the gambit I'm going out we're gonna go out on a high note extra motivation throwing the chips on the table oh -ho -ho. this will be one to remember this will be one to remember and if he comes up short well what are you gonna do something tells me that he won't something tells me that he won't and the boys will come and rise to the occasion really winning the league that is the itch that must be scratched oh the brick the exposed brick simply tremendous 1896 is that a nine or a seven has a new toss the year of the hungarian millennium Golden age of Liverpool, golden age of Budapest, also kind of the golden age of New York. Turn of the century times. Oh, plane in traffic. Yep, not a smart idea. And that was a nine. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps this was an ancient hill fort. It does have the shape, does it not? Yes, easily could have been a Saxon era hill fort. Oh wow, the Liverpool history. It's really hard to believe how long this place has been around even in the pre-Roman days, but the Romans, they were the ones that really started to build up commerce here, but it wasn't until actually far into the future, 18th century, that Liverpool finally gained a good deal of prosperity. But the history goes back quite a ways, quite a ways. In the Domesday Book, it is remembered as Liverpool, 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 being the ancient English word, proto-english word really for sort of like muddy mucky silty and pool being water the famous purple bins number 19 he's in key lengths that's how many first division titles we've won you ever hear of purple Aki? i bet you've never heard of purple Aki, have you i mean if you're from liverpool you have watch out he could be anywhere we can see here the liverpudlian street signs city of liverpool l3 l3 a Liverpudlian is someone from Liverpool. That is a term that wasn't used until the 19th century. Liverpudlian. Huh. <laughs> it's cool. It's creative. Just like the Liverpudlians are. Liverpudlian. Now Anfield, which is the Liverpool Stadium, is L4. We're in L3. Oh yes. And if we're nice and quiet now, folks, we can see the beautiful magpie hopping from branch to branch. Newcastle! Newcastle! Yes, shite. This is sort of like the local original biome. It's sort of this coastal grasses, huh? And this is a more modern installation, an expression of the art we were talking about earlier. Okay, okay, now we're in L6, looking for L4. Don't use my map, mostly because I don't have data. It's a weird life, but I kind of recommend it. Unless uh, you have people that want to get in touch with you. Especially my wife. Now Liverpool as a city, its fortunes sort of vacillated after being established, but by the Elizabethan era, it was quite impoverished. They were begging to the queen, please help us. We have no money. And during the English Civil War, Puritans, Roundheads, Cromwell, all the rest, Liverpool played a pretty big role. That's why Everton has that prison on their badge instead of the Liverbird. Sorry guys. They got that little, uh, what is it, Northrop's Tower? Some tower important in the English Civil War, yada yada. Not gonna waste too much time on that. Ooh, Grant Gardens. Ha ha. I love this stone in Liverpool as well. Another one of the big colors is that sort of like reddish. Is it sandstone? I don't know. There we can see City of Liverpool, the mythical liver bird. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't really rub it in too much, but uh, the liver bird, the color red. It's, it's a Liverpool city, and the city is literally called Liverpool. Everything's good as a scrappy uh, second fiddle. 
<laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous. To be fair, it's absolutely patently ridiculous that they've been punished for their financial irregularities. Give me a fucking break. Manchester City, what are they gonna get? Relegated back to the Stone Age? I mean, if we're gonna do an equidistant penalty, <clears throat> nonsense. 97, 97, justice for the 97. Don't buy the Sun. The Sun newspaper, you see they're trying to make themselves all family friendly, branch out in the US market. Don't buy the Sun. It's a rag, it's a filthy, filthy rag. The lies that they told will never be forgiven. Going back to the end of the English Civil War and the glorious restoration, William and Mary, they gave Liverpool an additional charter and that, at the end of the 17th century, is when the city began to grow 18th century canals. And we'll take it from there as we head down the street. Oh yes, the Pickering Street car wash. Well, now we are on L5. L5, getting closer to Anfield. L4, we can see this very distinctive architectural style. Could be Georgian, could be Edwardian could be Victorian. Shoha Egidul Shetals. And now, and now we approach Anfield. And there is King Kenny above the cop end. That's the Liverpool supporter section. Very cool. Right across the street here, we can see Liverpool. Liverpool. That's what I was talking about before. That is the old spelling of Liverpool in the post-Viking age. Yes, the Vikings, we didn't even really get involved with the Vikings. Maybe tomorrow, don't want to spill all our beans in one go. Heading to the match on Sunday, FA Cup, Norwich. But there is Liuvipu, the mud water. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Stevie G. Stevie G. He's had a strange post-playing career tenure, now in languishing in El Adifak in Saudi Arabia, but the man, the myth, the legend. One of Liverpool's proudest local sons. What a player, Steven Gerrard. What a magnificent, heroic player. The Sandin, where it all began. Famous pub, Anfield. Oh, it's good to be home, baby. It's good to be home. We're gonna let the light and the setting do the rest of the talking for us. Although I will probably chime in with quite a few words. Oh, there they are. There they are. Bayus, Robbie Fowler. They call him God. G O D. Luis Diaz, Colombian hero. Just became a father of two last night. Luis Diaz. His father himself was kidnapped earlier this year. Weird year for Mr. Diaz. He got kidnapped by a Colombian separatist and now became a grandfather for the second time. Ray Clements. Absolute legend of the game, 1970s, Liverpool's real first run of great, great fortune. As Bill Shankly said, Ray has everything. He's quick, he doesn't want to be beat, he's just a great goalkeeper. Anfield, how I love you. What a weekend this is going to turn out to be. I mean, it's sad that Klopp's leaving, don't get me wrong, but we're not going to cry about it, are we? No, we are not. No, we are not. The Sir Kenny Dalglish stand. That's the great thing about Liverpool, is that it just keeps on getting better. And there's the Park Pub, another one of the big pubs. And we can see our modern day heroes, Alison Becker, Diogo Jota, some of the ladies, and Sobo Slai Dominic. Sobo Slai Dominic. Tra la 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 la. Sobo Slai Dominic, tra la 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 la. Sobo Slai Dominic, tra la 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 la. It isn't Sobo Slai, it's Sobo Slai. E -da -da -da. And here we can see the Paisley Gates. Sir Bob Paisley, OBE, and the cop, the famous cop. Now it was Bill Shankly right there that was Liverpool's hero. The heroic manager he made the people happy beginning of the 1960s into the 1970s charismatic loud boisterous kind of clop before clop way before clop bob paisley came along in the 70s he was 
Bill Shankly's assistant. He'd been at the club since like the 30s or the 40s as a player, stayed along in the staff, and then was the one who really turned Bill Shankly's original spark, his original vision, into a reign of domination. And it was Bob Paisley who really made Bill Shankly become the legend that he was in some ways. I mean, Bill Shankly would have been a legend no matter what, but the fact that he's laid the groundwork and set up the roots for Bob Paisley and Fagan and then Dalglish to flourish, well, that was the key to everything. So we'll see who becomes Jurgen Klopp's Bob Paisley. Perhaps a certain soft-spoken Spaniard, Xabi Alonso. Be a better choice than Gerard. I mean, it's not going to be Gerard. I'm sorry, Stevie G. I love you. I love you to death, but you need to do a little bit more than Saudi Arabia if you want to be the manager of LFC. Xabi Alonso. He's the man I want to see. Oh, what a stadium. What a ground. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is so good to be back. Look at this place. Beautiful. And here we can see a very somber reminder of the Hillsborough stadium disaster rest in peace to the 97 you shan't be forgotten all you need is rush tra la 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 all you need is rush -da 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 -da. all you need is rush 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 is all you need <sighs> well we'll be back here in two days time norwich fa cup Let's wave goodbye for now. Oh, I'm back, baby. Now I'm back. Now I am back in town. Anfield, Anfield. A glorious place. Anfield, Anfield. Smile on my face. Stanley Park. It's the other end of Stanley Park where our poor old brothers in blue languish away. Where are they? Oh, there it is. Goodison. <laughs> Oh, it's a grand old ground and it's the last year to see it but got better things to do to be perfectly honest with you <laughs> oh. here we have another beautiful mural in honor of Ann Williams who tirelessly tirelessly campaigned for the Hillsborough families for many years a real hero I mean in this area of so many heroes on the sporting ground. She's a true, true hero off of it. Beautiful woman with a beautiful soul. Well, all right. You don't have to tell me twice. But look at this, the Anfield Road Primary School. That splash of light, the conical tower. Oh, I mean, this looks to me, this building, we'll have to look this up later, but I'm gonna say 1870s, 1860s, Walton on the Hill School. 1880s, huh? Surprising, very surprising. Should have known, honestly should have known. Oh goodness me, what fortuitous timing. Oh yes, as the sun sets, we come to Everton Park. This is not where Everton plays, but this is Everton Park. And sun is blessing this gorgeous city of Liverpool with all its splendor. Wow. Oh. I've said it once. I've said it twice. It is good to be back. The mighty mercy. It is good to be back. And before the night was done, we had to dig into a bowl of scouse. This is the signature Liverpool dish. It's basically liver podlian goulash and boy oh boy is it delicious this one in particular the ship and miter if you go to liverpool best pub in the city in my honest opinion i mean the food the beers the vibe the atmosphere mama mia you devour that and of course it wouldn't be a real trip to liverpool without a little night out on the town <laughs> what a city the next day was match day were treated to something special. Jurgen Klopp, I love you, mate. Thank you for everything. <laughs>